Okay. So you have the mouse control. So the variant configuration. Okay. So first of all, the variant configuration is is a centralized function. It's a centralized function. So it's going to be in central functions. So expand logistics. You see central function all the way down. All the way down. So here you can see variant configuration. I think that's the, yeah. So variant configuration is going to have configuration profile. Okay, so create. Okay, so you can create this kind of profiles either to a material or to task list standard network a service specification. There are so many options, not just material. Okay, but today we are talking about uh, product configuration. So product is nothing but material. Okay, select it. So in order to do this, what you need to have is a material, right? So we don't have a material, correct? So let's go and start with a material. So if you could um, type a slash n and take me back to, okay. So you know that you can create material in the sales and distribution itself. So let's start with the sales and distribution, expand sales and distribution, master data, product, master data, the product, okay, material, other material, other, other, O-T-H-E-R, right here, okay, create. Okay, when you create, you need to tell me what is that uh, you want to create. It looks like Samsung TV laptop is already there. So, so pick something else, maybe Dell, Dell computer. Or Dell tablet. Okay. HP laptop okay so so now what what I want you to do is uh, <clears throat> is is this a finished product is it a finished product you can use two things here if you want to make it a pure configuration material you can select a configuration material also. They're in A, B, C. Configurable material. Configurable material. Yeah. So configurable material, you are trying to create a configurable material. Hit enter. So I think this material is already there. Somebody must have created this material because it is saying Material type is copied from the master record. So let me show you. Somebody already created this material. You see? It's already there. So you pick something else. This is already created by someone else. Okay. Okay, that's good. So enter. Okay. Yeah, that's all good. Yep. <coughs>
So basically what um, Sunday is trying to do here is he's trying to uh, fill up all the properties of this particular uh, product which is Google Glass. So unit of measure does it come under a separate material group and what would be the gross weight and the net weight, the division and uh, those are some of the very uh, um, some of uh, some of the very very important uh, division also is important division uh, but um, th the fields what you see with the tick mark uh, those are mandatory so the mandatory fields uh, you can see uh, division zero zero so generally we are using uh, zero zero division okay so if it is a mandatory field uh, you are going to see for example this is a mandatory field so you see a tick mark you see that that's a tick mark if you have a tick mark that's a mandatory field okay so other than that uh, everything is optional on the screen okay move on please move on to the next screen you have many screens okay so since it is a configurable configurable material you must have seen this guy you see that automatically that checkbox is on because the kind of material you are creating is not an ordinary ordinary material it's not a generic material it's a custom configurable material okay next please okay so you have two options you have two two options one is configurable 200 the another one is variance which is 300 both come under same category the uh, the category is uh, variant configuration category okay very good so we can create uh, the classes later okay so we are not going to take any existing one in, uh, this time we want to um, set up our own uh, profile our own characteristics our own classes okay so he's in sales uh, view this particular view is going to talk about the sales related taxes okay so he, he put that information in there so what the Sunday is trying to do is you see the 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 views here so he's trying to fill up each one of these one after another okay go ahead sir he's in sales one sales two sales three mm -hmm. yep this is a third view for sales the transportation group on pallets zero 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 one and loading group you we take crane zero 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 one okay enter enter okay yeah enter so the MRP type if you keep an eye the 250025 is a variant configuration so you say this 25 make to 
order for variant configuration material here okay just to I just want to remind you okay move on please so you need to fill up the controller MRP controller you need to fill up the the planning lot size when you plan for either the manufacturing or for the procurement what would be your lot size okay next okay um, schedule margin key so schedule margin key is a key which has got some buffer timings the time before production, the time before release, the time after release and uh, you have some buffer time, a combination of different uh, buffer times what we have in the manufacturing process. Okay, next please, MRP3. So in-house production time, how many days you take to make this product? Okay and uh, strategy group that's important that's again 25 go to drop down and pick 25 okay next and selection method when you have a multi-level bomb for this component um, for this uh, not component for this finished product which is variant configurable product and do you want to explore the bomb based on the quantity based on the time based on the version so usually we tell we select based on the production version so we select number two okay next next so work scheduling quality management view then the costing next costing two so valuation key you need to select the valuation key how do you valuate this one this is a semi-finished product it looks like so select 7900 I don't see anything other than that and also you can put standard price there one unit roughly how much is going to be we know that based on your options it's going to increase but uh, a ballpark figure just to start with okay go ahead and save it or if you click to next screen it is going to ask you to save okay very good so in this process what you really did is you you set up the data for this product in another words within a database table you have inserted one row with multiple columns columns are the fields what you just entered with some values okay so take me to the database table where you can see this particular material what you created just now that means you need to know how to browse the database table the transaction code is SE16 SAM yeah but very slash n you're not an SAP easy access so 
you need to type slash n to go back to the, the easy access screen, right? So the table name is M-A-R-A. Enter. Okay. So the, the fields what you see, they are all in German. So he's converting it into English. And um, just now you created, so, okay. And the material type, you need to put the material type. So go to drop down and pick the material type. Variant configuration is K, M, A, T, K. K mat. I J K. Yeah, K mat. You see that? Okay. So now if you execute, you see that? So you restricted your selection with a date, right? Imagine you remove this. And if you want to search how many are there, there are 188 materials, which are K mat materials. Okay? So, excellent job. So, what you did just now is really putting a foundation. So, if you do not have this information sitting in the database table, there is no way you can retrieve it. Correct? Okay. So, I would like to give some more explanation on this. If you just uh, allow me. Okay. So, set up master data, right? So, the very first thing what you did was you set up KMAT material. In database table, so without using any programming, correct? So, so this <coughs> this KMAT material of this organization is having a lot of information that is needed for the sales department. So that information you filled up in the sales views. Similarly for purchasing, production, warehouse, right? So the database table Usually they, they use this notation for the database table. Okay. So what is this table? M A R A. So in this table, you put that material now. Okay. Very good. So let's go and try to put some more information. Okay. The some more information I'm going to give you the mouse control again, Mr. Sunday. So be ready. Okay. Let let us talk about uh, the classification. Classification mechanism. Okay. The classification mechanism is again cross functional cross compile cross application so it is right here and go and um, expand classification system master data first set up a class 
double click. Okay, you need to give a name to this class. So this is going to be a classification of a navigation system if I understand your product. If I understand your product correctly, your Google Glass is a kind of navigation system made by Google. So you are going to set up various class multiple classes within a class type called 200. So 200 can have one or many classes, custom classes. So give a name, Google Navigation. Google Navigation. So that's the name of the... So you are classifying Google navigation system and click on create there is a white paper thingy next to the pencil mark okay so if you notice clearly there is no there is no room for space you see that so you wanted to put some space the system did not allow you so if you want some space, in that case, either you give underscore or hyphen, okay? Right now, that's okay. You already created, so that's okay. But remember, there is no space, and it won't allow you to keep any space. Okay, so give the description, whatever you want to call that description, classification of navigation pro navigation system that's what I would like to give and it's up to you you can as long as you don't type some bad words that's all good it is released that means if you don't select released you cannot use it the system thinks that you are still cooking okay and the valid from today up to how many days, how many years this process is valid? Typically, it will not be like 999, you know. Usually, if you design something, it may be good for five years, depending upon the product life cycle time. So when do you call it obsolete? Uh, in, in automobile industry, uh, some of the cars, you know, after every five years, they bring a new, new model. So something like that okay so that's good and uh, do you want to check the classification or you don't want to check it and if you want to check that on no, no, right here that is authorization right here warning message you check it and give us a warning message if something is wrong so that's the first uh, tab basic data so go to the next one keywords and um, if you have thousands of uh, classifications, so you might want to retrieve it pretty quickly with a keyword. So what would be the keyword for you? Google. Google will be the keyword. Okay. The next thing is the characteristics. Characteristics. So one class navigation will have how do you describe your navigation product with some characteristics okay so one characteristic itself is navigation right so hit enter and there's no navigation do you want to create yes so now you are creating a characteristic within a class called Google Navigation. Remember that, okay? So give the description. I would call rather motion navigation movement navigation 
moving navigation. Okay. So what is the data type of this navigation? Is it a character or is it a numeric? No, 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 no. Data type. No, 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 no. You are at a wrong place. This is the one. Okay. So navigation, moving navigation, is it what 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 do you think the data type? Is it a numeric? Is it a characteristic? Is it a Boolean? Uh, is it a alphanumeric? Okay, characters. How la how much length it is going to be? Is it going to be ten characteristics? Twenty or five? When you describe it, eight, okay. Okay, is it case sensitive, not case sensitive? So right now it is not case sensitive because you did not select the checkbox. That's good. Okay. And what about the value? Is it going to be one value or do you have multiple values? Okay, very good. Okay, go to the next tab which is description. You have it already. Go to values. <laughs> okay. So for your uh, navigation, what will be the values? Is it digital navigation? Is it analog navigation? Is it wireless navigation? Is it a wire navigation? Is it um, is it um, powered by solar? Is it powered by electricity? Is it powered by firewood? Um, okay. So that's one value. Okay. So that is uh, one value. Okay. Is it satellite navigation? Is it um, is it uh, is a privately owned uh, um, navigation system which doesn't take help of any any satellite? Or do you have your own satellite? Do you have your own something because the moment you 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 well, the moment the moment you are thinking of designing a product eventually you should be ready for the next uh, steps also you know you started a google um, navigation so okay anyway uh, the value is sa satellite uh, navigation okay Okay, you can have more than one too, but in your case, that's okay. And um, then save it. <coughs> so once you save it, what did you save? You saved only the characteristics, not the class, correct? So now if you save, you are going to save the class. So in one shot, you did two things. One is creating a class. Second thing is creating a characteristic under that class. Go ahead and save it. Okay. So you have set up your classification mechanism. So take your classification mechanism and link it to your material. Okay. So go to the material master change view slash n mm02. Enter and link it with your product. Where do you link it in the classification view? hit enter hit enter so which view you need to take not everything you are only now why are you going to MRP we are talking about classification and you have a classification here 
and uh, that's where you need to link it, right? Enter. Okay, what is your class? Just now you created a class. Now, Google class. Just now you created, my dear friend. Google class, that's what you created. I said you cannot keep any uh, spaces and you kept uh, again a space. Okay, Google class. Okay, and hit enter. Okay, Google navigation. Okay, hit enter. If that is correct, it is going to bring you. You see, that's correct. So, you have a moving navigation and go to the value and pick your value. You should have a value too. Satellite. Okay, select it. So what you really did here is you you set up or you designed a standalone classification which is 200 class type underneath Google navigation, underneath moving navigation, underneath satellite, right? So you took that and you attached it to the material, okay? Go ahead and save it. Excellent, okay? Now you have a material, you have a classification go ahead and create a variant configuration profile expand logistics CU41 CU41 okay is that your material yes it is enter okay so you need to give a profile name if you want to see the bubble help you can put your cursor there okay so that way you can see the bubble help or you expand it like this you can see the complete thing similarly here also expand it expand it okay anyway these are grayed out so go to priority and is it priority one or two one profile name Google profile name is Google class type 300 organization area we don't have org area so no values you cannot see a, you don't find any values so hit enter and see what happens okay hit one then type everything and save it. Save it, save. Oh, you already, I think it already took, it, it took the profile name, I think so because it is already saying you take something else so go and uh, do the change okay go back to change okay now hit enter
Oh, okay. It's um, Google Class. So somebody already used that name. Okay. Hit enter again. Okay, so you have to go back and create. Create, please. It didn't save for some reason. You have a warning message, you have to hit enter. Okay, it is created, okay? Okay, it is created. Very good. Okay, so now let me give this mouse control to another person. So he is also going to repeat. they will have templates so how do they look like the templates how do they look like the templates and I'm not sure but I'm not sure whether I have them but, um, uh, but n tomorrow I can show you the real uh, document from one of my uh, client okay so but today I'll create uh, one uh, to explain you. Uh, we'll take some, uh, um, we'll pretend that we are doing it for uh, Dell, okay? So obviously there will be a I'm looking for header, okay, insert header. Okay, so in this header, A, you'll have the logo of the company, okay? So let's say uh, we are implementing to a company called Dropbox, okay? Dropbox is the company and we are implementing SAP for Dropbox. So first on this document you will have their logo right so the logo of the Dropbox is going to be there and if you want to decorate it a little bit you can always do that depending upon your taste okay so for example let's say I want to make it a little fancy like this okay then what is the heading unit test document unit test script unit test script so they will have um, some notation like uh, it's a purchasing right mm dash md uh, no material management material management and um, mrp material requirement planning dash cbp Conjun consumption based planning okay that is the test they're doing okay then they might also uh, put some more information like the project name so for example uh, most of the time project will have a um, pro project will have a name like for example um, when I was at uh, one of those clients uh, DuPont clients they, they were they're calling uh, DuPont surfaces that's the name of the project project name is DuPont surfaces okay and then they might say release one or wave one so I was on release five okay so that information will be there as a as a template then after that in the
over here they put um, uh, the min the path uh, where they save this document okay and also they put the address of the company and uh, and all that information right so that will be that is called a template basically I wanted to show uh, a template so template is nothing but you must have seen my template too you see you see my template yeah I was actually I'm also doing using a template right see my template is this SAP can SAP knowledge abilities network a not-for-profit organization blah 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 see so the same thing is is called template right this is the template so now we need to insert a table okay so the table is going to have one two three okay that's good okay so first is serial number okay then the transaction then input expected result what is that expected output okay okay uh, tested where is this output okay tested by that's me okay or reject okay sometimes we also put assign to so to whom you assigned it to fix it okay so let's say the first one is me 51 n sorry this is not first one that's a transaction uh, that's a number correct me 51 n very good so first input let's go to me 51 n okay input what is the input you are going to put input is material correct and uh, quantity my material is um, seven zero nine six quantity ten then plant plant is three thousand storage location zero zero eight eight so we'll go back here and in the input you are going to write material seven zero nine six QTY quantity ten PLNT plant three thousand S lock zero zero eight eight okay is that enough we don't know we'll go and see okay so it is asking for purchasing group so we do need to have purchasing group P group
so go back again and um, purchasing group is zero zero three is it enough yeah that's enough okay so what is the output what you are expecting expecting successful PREC, PREC, correct, correct? So we are expecting the successful PREC creation. That is my expectation. Okay. So, and what is my output? When you save it, you'll get an output, okay? So the output is control Y so this is the output you are expecting tested by Raj, is it okay? Okay. Okay. So this is what is called a unit test script. Okay. So let us save. Save this document as unit test script. Okay, very good. So this is what I wanted to teach you today. Unit test script. Okay, now what I want to do now is I will I will make one of you as the presenter and um, I want to see how you will how you are going to do this. So I will give it to I'll give it to Prasad okay so Prasad you are going to be the presenter not just uh, uh, the creator okay I unmute you and not only unmuting I'll make you the presenter not I'm not giving the mouse control you will be the presenter Okay, you are the presenter. 